the statement of applicability is a document that you're often, in fact, nearly always asked for. You're asked for it by the auditors. You're going to be asked for it by third parties, anybody looking at your system. What the statement of applicability is, is the list of controls that you are applying into your organization. There's a number of different ways that you can come up with it. Uh, as a minimum, you're going to want to do the 114 controls of Annex A, ISO 27002 that forms part of the ISO 27001 certification. And there may be additional controls that you're going to uh, record on there as well, either from other standards um, or from your customers, from your legal and contractual register that you've recorded earlier. But for us, we're going to make a start and we're going to make a punt and we're going to say all of the 114 controls that make up part of uh, Annex A. Uh, and we're going to record them. Now, what you're going to find when you do your implementation, if you do it without doing it this way, is that you are going to create many spreadsheets if you came at this raw based on the 27001 uh, and 27002 Annex A standard. And you're going to do a lot of cutting and pasting, uh, and that's what everybody learns. Right? It's a massive time sink, uh, and it happens time and time again. This is one of the first instances where you're going to come across that. So for you to be able to record whether or not a control is applicable or not, you're going to have to write it down. And then over time, the requirements that you have within that statement of applicability will become apparent and you'll add those columns in. This fast tracks it and this shows you what they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the clause, we're going to take the title, we're going to take the control objective directly out of Annex A, uh, 27002 Annex A. Then we're going to look at why this might be applicable. So a driver on why this control is required for us. You can change these, right? There can be a number of different reasons. But again, from auditing point of view and just to keep it nice and simple, there's usually a business reason, there's a risk reason, a legal reason or a contractual reason why a control is in place. Then what you're going to say is whether or not a control is applicable or not. Now for 27001, the Annex A controls are all meant to be in scope and be assessed. So even if you don't do them, you would record them and then you would just come in here and set them as not applicable. So it isn't applicable. And then you would state why, because the auditor wants to see why you think a particular control doesn't apply to you. It is rare that controls don't apply to people. It's an international standard. It covers across the board, but it does happen. So if, it, if there is a control, <coughs> it may be software development or something like that doesn't apply to you, then you would record that. You're also going to record on here the date that that was last assessed. So when did you last review whether or not that control was in was in place or not? So along with your front sheet, with your version control, an auditor or a third party is going to come and look and say, I want to see a date in here that is some point within the last 12 months so that this document is fresh and you've recently gone, that, gone through that review. Now, a top tip is that you would always have minutes for meetings where you had recorded that this had been signed off and approved. Management review meeting as well. So you want to tie those two together. So this just takes the entirety of Annex A. We're not going to go through that in detail. The principle being you go through that and you say whether or not it applies from a business, a risk, a legal or a contractual basis, if it's applicable, the date you last assessed it, and if it isn't applicable, why not? And it is literally that simple. But it is a document that you get tasked for time and time again. Uh, it forms part of the context of your organization overview, uh, and it is definitely one that you're going to want to complete and have up to date.